Hey there guys, welcome back to Power Rangers Week. I'm so excited to be doing this this week, man. It's fun. It's getting back into the old Rangers. Been checking it out on the Netflixes with a couple of friends recently. So I've decided to give you my top five worst and my top five favorite Power Rangers series right here. Well, we're, from here we're going to go worst to best. My number five, which is... The way we're going to do this is... Number five is probably the worst on each part of the list, and number one is the best. Or on the worst series. Uh, on the worst series, when it's the worst, but on the top five, best, it's the best. Alright, so my first least favorite Power Rangers series would have to be Wild Force. Uh, it's got. Uh, I don't hate this one, but I felt like it was one I should put on here. It's because it followed the amazing Time Force. Yeah, it had Forever Red, which is immortal in the Rangers universe as probably being the greatest thing that ever happened. It should have been a damn movie. Whatever. What are we going to do about that? Uh, but the overly environmental message messages in this are just blatant and annoying, quite frankly. You just up your ass, and it, it will bother you after a while. But hey, the uh, suits look cool. I mean... There's that, you know, not being completely negative here. I do enjoy parts of it. I mean, the Silver Wolf Ranger was kind of cool. But I didn't love the series. My next one is Jungle Fury, which to me is a ripoff of Wild Force. It took... It's basically everything I didn't like about Wild Force again, but without Forever Red. It, it hurts. It was... Bad. Number three, Power Rangers Turbo. Um, the movie started out. The movie was dumb. They never morphed. Ah, oh, they made the kid of the Blue Ranger. Most of the cast got out. It was a disaster. Some consider this the worst season due to its somewhat campier nature than usual and cruddy villains and dumb things. Just horrible. Ugh. Number two, SPD. This is another one I feel like reused an old and an, an old theme but repackaged. This one to me felt like Lightspeed Rescue all over again. And I kind of like it at Lightspeed Rescue. It's irritating. Number one on the worst list. Operation Overdrive. I completely forgot that this one existed. I think there may have been one more season after this. I don't know. Before Disney rebought it with Samurai. And I don't love Samurai, and I'm not going to put it on either of these lists because it's somewhere in the middle for me. But I honestly forgot Operation Overdrive existed. It reminds me a little bit of. In. Uh, a little bit of Galaxy. A little. Yeah, I didn't like it. Now the more fun aspect of this list where I get to talk about my favorite series. Alright, number five on this list is Power Rangers in Space! Yeah, that just happened. Power Rangers in Space completely took the series on a different course than it had ever been before. Power Rangers had been mostly set on Earth, and this changed things. This got rid of Zordon. This destroyed the center. The, uh, the, 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 the base. This got us out into space. This introduced us to a whole new world of possibilities. These Power Rangers could go anywhere. could be anything. Many consider this to be the best season. It's quite different. It's pretty mature. I loved it. Including, man, it was the Psycho Rangers. Just all of it. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool, unique stuff. Number four. Now, people are going to be all about this because people consider this behind space, but I'm going to choose Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. Man, this was awesome for me. It probably has my most favorite ending to the, any of the series. You know, when uh, the Red Ranger goes on the space station and he's fighting the bug chick all by himself and his helmet gets cracked and the space station's crashing down and it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome, man. It's crazy. But 
I also like the more nature-esque aspect to it. It was, in many ways, the end of the Zordon era. Really, no more Zordon-like rangers would show up after this. It was a time of goodbye. Um, number three. Once again, you guys are going to hate me for this, but I chose Ninja Storm. I liked this season. I'm, I liked it more than most people liked it. I, he was the first one... Get really, really... Disney took hold of. And I really liked the extreme sports aspect of it and the ninjas. I liked that there were two evil Red Ranger... Or two evil Rangers this time around rather than just one like we're used to. We don't usually get this kind of thing. Well, anyway, we don't get this thing kind of early. I, mean, it would be, I believe it was the first time we ever got this... Uh, starting off the three... Ranger team, which is kind of unique. I didn't love the cruddy mentor character, the friggin' hamster. And I didn't like Lothor very much, but I there were aspects of it I really did like, including Cam's story later on. But it was perfect. I'm not going to act like it was. Number two. Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Oh, this is one, this is many people's favorite. He simply had brought back Tommy again after all these years. After so not since, not since Forever Red have we seen Tommy. He's been known when he's been up to. Apparently, be keeping him a doctor, and he's been fighting Mezagog, this crazy villain who is probably one of the best villains in the series, who reminds me an awful lot of Green Goblin and his son, who eventually turns into the White Ranger, who goes down a very similar journey that Tommy went down. Really reminds me of Harry Osborn. I really like this this aspect of it. It really was it was a season that was supposed to be sort of a, a celebration. I believe it was the 15 year anniversary special. I believe. Either way, it brought in tons of stuff, including a, a one giant awesome clip show of an episode. Episode an episode where Tommy fought different versions of himself in the Ranger costumes and tons and tons of cool stuff, including a, a nice, a pretty awesome. And reasonably balanced fight between the Ninja Rangers, who I just talked about. You know, showing how much more powerful and experienced they are due to their training than the uh, Dino Rangers are, who generally like to relax and do their own thing. It was quite a season. It was quite a season. And now, my favorite season of all time, Power Rangers Time Force. Yes! This is what Rangers should be. This is how you should do it. It's Power Rangers, but somehow it feels more serious. It feels less jokey. It feels more mature. The acting is better. It created one of my most favorite Rangers of all time, the Quantum Ranger, who had his own Quantum Quantosaurus Rex Megazord and cop military like an active military like group in the universe that it desperately needed. It felt better. The villains were better. Rancic and his daughter, Nadira. No, I'm like, ooh, I think I got that name wrong. Rancic and his daughter were awesome. His robot, uh, his robot general was awesome. The time travel aspect of it was well used. This season felt right. It felt like, to me, the best season they had ever premiered. And it was awesome. And it kind of even, it's awesomeness helped carry over into into Wild Force, which, like I said, I didn't hate it, I didn't love it, though. It brought in, and brought that in, and brought us an awesome episode there, which continued and concluded. Rancic is one of the best villains in the series, as, as well as Mezagog. And, and his other generals do the same. It just feels so much un-Power Rangers-like. It feels, I thought this it was so much better. And having a Pink Ranger as a leader... That's not happened, didn't happen before, and has not happened since. She was really unique. It was just better. Well, um, hey, I'm getting really close to that 10-minute mark, so I'm going to let you go. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for more Power Rangers Week.